What's up guys, Crandale Lingo here. So you might be wondering why the guy on the phone knew that my brother Crandale Dongle had a dongle in his phone. Well, it turns out he was in our window. And then he somehow got into the house. So he was looking through the bedroom door under the crack. And then he did the goofy ah thing where he called the phone because he saw the phone number on the back somehow. So then he got on the hotline for my brother's phone. And then he proceeded to tell my brother to take the dongle out because it was weird. And didn't look right. Because Among Us. No, the dongle was shaped like Among Us, guys. Don't take it out of contact. Anyway. Then we go outside and climb on the tree. We find another Walmart gift card for $10. Now we are protected from the hags. That was a hager in the house. So now we're protected from the hags, and we can put dongles in the phone. Even ones that are shaped like Among Us. But anyway, continuing on, we proceed to go back to my goofy aunt uncle's house and run Fortnite on pro gamer settings. And then we play that for the rest of the day. Even though it's 10 o'clock at night. But ignore the fact that I said daytime. Michael Soft Binpo's XP. That's the best way to play Fortnite, guys. Because Quandale Dingle. I kind of forgot that it was November. Anyway, back to the Quandale Dingle story. What's up, guys? Come on down and go here. I've given this for war crimes and <laughs> I've committed several war crimes in Nigeria. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, okay. This time we're gonna take it seriously. What's up, guys? Kwanda Lingo here. I've committed several war crimes in Nigeria. Therefore, I am going. I am going to war prison in America for committing Nigerian war crimes. Yeah. Anyway, continuing on with the dongle story. Anyway, we visited the scam call center. And that's a war crime in Nigeria. So we got another war crime added to the list. That's 51 now. Anyway, we went to the scam call center. And we told them that we had a gift card to protect us from the hags. So we gave it to them directly. And then they never hagged us again. Because they protected us from the hags. So then we go home in peace and finally plug in the dongles. Without the hags. No more hags in our house. Anyway, we log on to our Windows XP computer. Specifically, XP Professional. Obviously, the best, ga best gaming platform. With our Intel Athlon. <laughs> Intel Athlon? What am I saying? Intel Celeron. Intel Athlon and AMD Celeron. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing for half of this video. This is this is longer than the Goofy Ah Story Part 1. If you're still watching, then I am honestly impressed. Anyways. Garfield. Garfield, where is the pizza? I ate those food. This is supposed to be a goofy ass story featuring Quandale Dingle, not Garfield. What am I doing? David Abigail. I guess it is called Goofy Ah Story, so it can really be anything. What's up, guys? So today we have a story about my Goofy Ah Uncle.
No, we're past the five minute mark. Let's go. New achievement unlocked. Now we have Among Us Bitcoin. Among Us Bitcoin will improve the economy. Invest in some today. Even though it may cost you $2 billion in debt. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Going back to the scam call center guy. We gave him the gift card and he accepted that we're not going to get hagged anymore. But then we get hagged again. Hello, your computer has a virus. I need your credit card number. But we don't have credit cards. So we gave him a random address. And no, we gave him a random IP address. And so then he comes to our house. And it turns out that was our IP address. So then he has our IP address. So we can cancel the internet. So now he is double hagging. So now... Among Us Bitcoin has cost us $2 billion in debt. Even though that's not what the story was about in the first place. But we're still talking about Among Us Bitcoin. Stay tuned for the next episode to learn more about Among Us Bitcoin.